Munich's world-famous Oktoberfest is an eagerly awaited opportunity for Germans to indulge in some of their favorite pastimes, drinking beer, singing songs, and dressing up in their national costume. This year's the 179th has opened with the customary razzmatazz and louder-than-usual protests about the beer prices. But with the euro crisis also in full swing, are Germans losing faith in the single currency and the whole European project? The best-selling Bilt tabloid has condemned the bailouts for Greece and others, but generally takes a strongly pro-Europe editorial line. Deputy Editor-in-Chief Nicholas Blomer believes the debt crisis is moving up the agenda for his readers. They're far more interested in what's happening in the other countries because it's so interconnected by the euro, as we learn out of the Greek crisis. And so German people tend to ask more questions about the euro, about the European integration, and in a way a bit more skeptical because so much is going wrong. Opinion polls tell conflicting stories. One earlier this month found nearly two-thirds of Germans think they'd be better off without the euro. But on the streets of the capital, Berlin, most seem to recognize the benefits of the single currency, even if Germany does have to bail out its more profligate fellow Europeans. The whole idea of Europe is to stick together and to help each other out. It's better to be inside the euro. For the togetherness, I think it's, uh, it's uh, important uh, that Germany have to pay us. Yes. Voters may in fact be more skeptical than the politicians. Perhaps surprisingly, there is no anti-euro party in Germany. Chancellor Angela Merkel, facing a re-election campaign in 2013, must strike a difficult balance. If Europe fails, she gets the blame. But more costly bailouts for other countries would also be hugely unpopular. Political scientist Konstantin Versing of Berlin's Humboldt University says there's little political capital to be made from any rise in Euroscepticism. I don't think that anyone is going to benefit from it politically. I don't think there's any party that would have the courage or the ability, given the political situation in Germany, to bring a sort of a very Eurosceptic agenda uh, into the political arena and benefit from it electorally. The 18th century romantic poet and dramatist Friedrich Schiller was an idealist who would probably have approved of greater European unity. And it seems most modern Germans agree with him. Germany's role as the driver and paymaster of European integration will come under the spotlight in next year's national elections, but the issue may not prove divisive enough to overturn Angela Merkel's centre-right coalition. David Sincock, Reuters.